Jefferson County's only facility to house teenagers accused of crimes will open back up on Tuesday after being closed since November. State leaders say they've made major adjustments to keep both staff and the kids safe there. WHS 11's Isaiah Kim Martinez is talking to local law enforcement with insight on the overhaul of the system. Well, back in August, Linden's police chief met with state officials about an incident that happened at the youth detention center. It left bedding on fire and for a moment, a teenage boy escaping the facility. Now, after several weeks of being closed, changes have been made on the inside with more to come. Juvenile justice authorities say it themselves. Detained teenagers are posing a greater risk now than ever before to themselves, other teens and staff including at the Jefferson Regional Facility. Clearly there are kids who are more uh, capable of, of violence, even though they might be charged with a nonviolent offense. But Linden Police Chief Grady Throneberry has heard there's been progress in recent weeks to improve safety. I think the community can feel better about the whole situation. Throneberry met with the Justice and Public Safety Secretary this week, learning the state has fixed a security issue where the doors at times would not unlock in the event of a fire alarm. Governor Andy Bashir explaining in this week's Team Kentucky update. The building has now been cleared for partial occupancy and will house around 10 males. The adjustment is one of several made to the juvenile justice system in the last month. Boys and girls are now separated. Nonviolent and violent offenders are too. Jefferson County's detention center now primarily houses teenage boys detained for crimes like theft, property damage, or robbery without a weapon. He also told us that the staff had been uh, increased and they had gone through some remedial training. Meanwhile, staff starting salaries have been raised to $50,000 a year to address major shortages authorities say contributed to violent outbreaks and they've ordered defense equipment like tasers and pepper spray to defend themselves and other teenagers if needed. Are you confident that this will help this deep shortage of staff that you talked about before being one of the primary reasons why these incidents were even happening? Uh, I'm confident in the cabinet's uh, attempts to upgrade the quality of personnel. Uh, to attract uh, better people and more people. On Monday, we'll be sitting down one-on-one -on -one with juvenile justice officials asking how they plan to better prevent contraband from getting into these facilities. In Louisville, Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side. Governor Bashir says they aim to get the other two living units at the Linden facility opened up once upgrades are finished. That'll give the center the capacity to hold 30 teenage boys. Taking a closer look at recent incidents inside the Jefferson Regional Juvenile Detention Center in eastern Jefferson County in August, a teenage girl set bed linens and pillows on fire using a disposable lighter. Officials say she started two separate fires in the Linden building. Then in October, state lawmakers posed questions to detention center officials about what causes these problems, and they claimed it was due to staffing issues. Less than a month later in November, the center closed. Since then, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir has appointed a new director of security who will oversee all detention centers in the state of Kentucky.